Hello, we're Company A, we are Ascension. Uh, my name is Pedro Leal, we have Jerry Mercado and Maria Herrera as our teammates. Um, so our strategic vision, um, our vision statement is to provide a footwork platform for aspiring athletes to ascend their game. Uh, tied into our vision, our mission statement is to provide a quality shoe in which athletes feel comfortable competing and improving their quality of game while allowing us at Ascension to better serve and improve the quality of lives of our stakeholders through effective market competition. Our strategic objectives that help us tie in both our mission and vision statement financially is to improve overall sales by at least 10% compared to previous years for the first three years in our growth stage. For the first year, we managed to increase 47%, the second year 54%, and finally in our third year 17%. This allowed us to increase our market share in all three businesses, both the internet market segment, the wholesale segment, and the private label segment, allowing us to become one of the top three controlling companies for market share. Um, and the final financial uh, objective was to be able to reward our investors with dividend payouts of $2 uh, at the end of our growth stage to, as a thank you for entrusting us and allowing us to grow the company to what it, was, to what it is. Uh, some of our non-financial uh, objectives were to maintain an image rating of minimum 85%. Um, we were able to uh, succeed in this by maintaining a low debt, um, good practices, and also maintain a good corporate social responsibility. Um, we also train and educate our employees. We wanted to maintain a below than 2% reject rate, and we managed to average a 1.5 reject rate across all of our production facilities and to rank within the top three companies worldwide. To help our objectives, uh, we identified some of our advantages, uh, both internally and external. Um, our internal advantages to reduce our uh, reject rates and improve our SQ rating was to heavily invest in the total quality management Six Sigma uh, per, per pair of shoe. We maxed out at $5. Uh, we also invested heavily in the best practices training for every employee. Uh, at $7,500 per employee. And we also decided to include an incentive pay uh, to incentivize our employees to produce top quality shoes and again, reduce our reject rate. Um, some of our external advantages were reduced cost production facilities. We decided to go with Latin America and Asia Pacific as our main production and distribution centers. Uh, lack, and co lack of competitors in the private label market allowed us to dominate heavily that was our bread and butter private label market. And we maintained a below average cost per SQ rating, uh, which means that we were able to produce top quality shoes at a lower price compared to other competitors. Hi, I was responsible for analyzing our competition and our top two competitors were Jaguar Footwear and Elite. As you can see, Jaguar Footwear received Best in Industry for uh, in their image rating and also earnings per share. They also maintained an A-plus credit score rating. And for most of the competition, they dominated the internet and wholesale segment. As well as Elite, they also received Best in Industry for return on equity. Again, they maintained an A-plus credit score rating and their top market was the private label. So we remain competitive with Jaguar Company in the uh, private label segment. Um, Jaguar, however, dominated the internet segment by offering competitive pricing and SQ ratings, competitive, I'm sorry, uh, comparative to ours. Additionally, uh, they invested heavily in their search engine advertising and brand advertising. Um, Elite was also one of the top teams to perform in the private label section. However, we were able to dominate or split evenly with Jaguar and Elite in that uh, market. <clears throat> Some of the key achievements that we received were the uh, Corporate Responsibility Award. We also were able to maintain A plus credit score rating and also a uh, we were actually only the second team to have a hundred uh, image rating. We also were able to get bonus points for about three years in a row. And aside from, a, I think, one other team, we were able to pay off our loans. Um, 
so that helps us to uh, maintain our scores and be the number two company in the competition. Next we'll have Jared. So I was in charge of doing the Ascension balance scorecard. Uh, the bottom part right here is just a basic definition of what a balance scorecard is. Um, it's the world's most top strategic uh, management framework. It combines four different business perspectives, which we'll get into in a little bit. It helps companies understand and achieve their organizational objectives and goals. The balance sheet scorecard does not create uh, strategies, rather it organizes it, organizes it into a visually friendly format. These are the main categories and subcategories, which we'll go on to the next slide and continue further explaining those. As you see, the financial, consumer, um, internal processes, learning and growth, and then you have the subcategories, which are objectives, measures, targets, initiatives. Uh, financial is at the top because it's number one. Each one of the one of the categories underneath it has a certain aspect of finance that'll bring it all the way back up to the top. So consumer, um, what things are important to our consumers, what impact financial pro or financial standings. Um, what do we need to do internally to meet our consumer goals that will impact our financial standings? Uh, learning growth, what skills, culture, and uh, capabilities do we need to have in our organization in order to execute on the process that would make our consumers happy and ultimately impact our financial standings? Um, I'm not gonna go over this whole thing. I just wanted to pick out from each of the main categories and subcategories, just one or two points um, in between them. Uh, the first one will be um, financial goals. Uh, if you look at the top left-hand corner, it says decrease expenses to increase spending, uh, looking at the competitive efforts um, and the footwear industry reports uh, year over year to increase um, any malfunctions or irregularities in the, in the information to make the decisions accordingly year over year. Um, and then the last one, establishing an overall dominance uh, of the market share in each of the global regions, which will allow the company to create a global monopoly, allowing us to increase the prices of the company um, of the shoes as much as we want and put all the companies out of business, um, which will ultimately win the game if we do that. And the second one, uh, customer or consumer, sorry. Um, it says to contribute access capital to the corporate social responsibility to show that we care about our, our consumers. And then uh, the last one would be under initiatives where it says consumer satisfaction is always number one, making sure to spend access capital wisely um, instead of spending on, on you know, uh, celebrity endorsements and stuff like that. And then we move on to internal processes. Probably the main one was initiatives. Teamwork makes the dream work. Um, the more the team works together, the easier it will be to run the company. If the team decides not to work together, it will ultimately be it would ultimately lead to a failing business as there is no one direction for the company to follow. Um, learning and growth throughout this whole process, we learned a lot um, as a company. There will always be ways for our company to make uh, better decisions year over year. Um, maintaining a competitive advantage that the company has over the competition and finding different advantages um, will be crucial to the overall success of the company that of course is under objectives. Um, increased base wage uh, commission payments over year over year uh, really help find any inefficiencies under targets. This is one of our main targets, find any inefficiencies in all costs associated with full store production um, from employees to, of course, uh, the manufacturing plants themselves. And then finally, uh, one of our last initiatives, the company will always continue to find new ways to stand out from the competitors by minimizing expenses and maximizing profits. And then the overall final review um, you know, we talked about it as a team. Um, you know, there's an old saying, you get what you put in and the business strategy game is the definition of that. Uh, you and your team will have to put in countless hours, which we did uh, to make decision entries each year. Um, in order for your shoe company to do well, uh, which we did, we, we wanted up in the top three, which we're very proud of. Um, my last comment would be, um, as a team, we weren't scared to think outside the box, make different decisions, entries in the business strategy game. Um, that helped our company excel uh, above the rest um, because although the game was challenging um, and very knowledgeable, it, um, it, wasn't it wasn't impossible to win and that'll be my last statement. I don't know if y'all guys want to come in.
Thank you, Professor, so much. Thank you, Dr. Carter. Had a great